guys, what is up? It's Haley here, and today I have for you a super random favorites video. I guess I would call it like a lifestyle favorites. I have like some food items, some wine, skincare, hair, you name it, I've got it. Um, so I thought it'd be really fun to share those things with you today. Also really quick, I just want to tell you that I have a new uploading schedule, so from now on, I will be uploading every single Tuesday and Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and also I want to tell you that I will be trying my very best to participate in Vlogmas this year. So basically Vlogmas is just something here on YouTube where you literally upload a vlog every day of December until Christmas. So I'm going to be trying my very best to get something up for you guys every day for the month of December. Um, so stay tuned for that because I have some really fun stuff planned for that month. Um, and I also have some fun stuff planned for um, the beginning of the year of 2020. So please make sure you go ahead and hit the notification bell just so you do know when I upload from now on. So do that and also like subscribe. Like, please. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I'm going to start with the food and wine category. And... The first thing I have to talk about is this Oliver Cherry Moscato. Now, if you don't like sweet wine, you're going to hate this. Like, just straight up, you're going to hate it. Um, it is kind of on the sweeter side, but it's like fresh, you know? I would say it is more of like a summer, spring wine, but I'm a baby and I can't do like Cabernet and Merlot because I'm just not classy like that. So, I like Moscato and the driest I honestly get is like Pinot Grigio or like a Chardonnay which is like not even anything crazy. So I've really been liking this. I don't know where all it is sold. Um, this is a local winery to me, but my grandparents live in Missouri and they said they have seen it there. So I think it is in a few states. Um, so if you can't find this, you can order it online or like just try a cherry Moscato because they're really good. So next up is this chamomile bloom tea from Tiavana. Tiavana. Not 100% sure how to pronounce that, but I have used their teas for a really long time. And I do use the loose leaf tea. I am actually able to make it in my coffee maker because it has like a built-in filter. So that's what I do, but it looks like like dried flowers. And it smells so, so good. I want like a candle that smells like this. But I always like to do this before bed. I don't do it every night by any means, but if I'm in the mood for like a hot drink before bed, I always go to this one. It doesn't have any caffeine, so it's completely safe to like drink before bed and you won't be up all night or anything like that. So yeah, I really love this for like a nice relaxing beverage if I don't want to drink wine. All right, so next up is my food category. And this is more of like a snack. Um, I actually, this is my second time buying these. These are the gluten-free bites and they're so so good this is the dark chocolate and peanut butter ones and they honestly taste like little balls of nutella with like peanuts around them to be honest with you but they're really really good um they are gluten-free dairy-free and vegan um soy free and kosher so literally anyone can eat these um i'm not gluten-free or any of that stuff that i just listed but i just like a good easy snack and these are super easy to just pop a couple in your mouth and go. Um, honestly, I could probably make these. I used to make like little oat balls that were similar, but I'm lazy and I just like to have it ready to go. So these are a great on the go snack. Last in the food category, I have these Morningstar Farms veggie patties and they are buffalo chick flavor and I'm not vegetarian or vegan. So I don't know why I'm like buying all this vegetarian vegan stuff, but these are just so, so good. They taste like literal chicken. And they're better for you because it's vegetables. So I tell myself that this is basically just me eating a whole entire bundle of like broccoli. That's what I tell myself. But um, I eat these a couple times a week for dinner. What I do is I make sandwiches. Um, so I'll do like this on a bun with lettuce, tomato, avocado, pickle, and mayonnaise. And it's like so good. And I make like homemade fries with them. Oh, so good. So I eat these, Brad eats these, and we both eat meat, like exclusively, like we love steak. So <laughs> I just wanted to put these out there if you guys wanted to try like an alternative to like normal chicken, or if you wanted to like switch things up. So I eat these very frequently. All right, moving on to 
the skincare category. So the first thing I want to talk about is this serum from number seven. It is the Early Defense Glow Activating Serum. Um, and it says right here on the bottle, glowing, healthier looking skin in one week. And like this is a serum that like I truly don't know what it does for me. But like my skin looks better and better every time I use it. It's not necessarily like it's clearing my breakouts or like anything like that. But my skin is just looking like... Like better, like you know how you just can't like put your finger on it, but it like looks good. That's what I feel my results are with this serum. Um, but I've been using it for a while and I love it. I already have like a backup ready to go like when I'm out of this. That's how much I love it. And it just kind of like, it makes you just look smooth and like healthy, if that makes sense. So I really recommend this. And number seven isn't too expensive. I think this is around like 20 in the $20, $30 range, so not bad at all for a serum, and especially not one that is as effective as this one. So I really highly recommend this. All right, next up for skin is this exfoliating treatment mask from Tula. Um, I love this mask, so I'm actually very sensitive with what I put on my face, um, and any exfoliators that are too harsh will really, really irritate me. Um, I used a chemical exfoliator from The Ordinary, and literally my skin about fell off like seriously it was like peeling from my face and like just breakouts everywhere like I am so so sensitive so I'm like very skeptical about things that are like exfoliating because like I know that it will just like mess my whole life up like if I use the wrong thing and this is something that I can use with super sensitive skin um, you just leave this on for about five minutes and you massage it off with warm water and it really just kind of gets all the dead skin off um, and I never have like any raw or like rough feeling after I use it. It's still very moisturizing in a way. You can see I've like literally almost used it all so obviously I like it. Uh -huh. So yeah, I would recommend this if you're looking for a good exfoliator that's not going to irritate your skin. So this next product is super, super versatile. This is just straight up vitamin E oil from Nature's Bounty. And I am not joking when I tell you I couldn't live without this stuff since I started using it. I use it on the ends of my hair, um, I use it on my face at night, I put it on my lips. I literally just like douse my whole like face and neck and like chest in this. And it's just done like wonders for my skin. Um, in the fall and winter time, I'm someone who just always wakes up with like dryness or like tightness in my cheeks and my forehead area. And it doesn't matter what moisturizer I use, it's just because I have such dry skin. And this, when I wake up in the morning, I actually feel like I still have like life in me. Like, I don't feel like I need to go like run to the bathroom and put moisturizer on. Because usually that's how I feel. I have to like run and like, like give my skin like a drink almost. This just kind of keeps me hydrated and I've kind of noticed like a radiance almost since I've started using this as well. Um, and also Brad, my fiance, uses this in his beard. So literally anyone can use this. Um, and when I don't have chaps, like, I'll just put this on my lips too. It doesn't have like gross taste or anything. Um, it's just like done wonders for the moisture. And it's like helped my split ends a little bit too. My hair is getting really long. And this is the only thing that I've been using in it. I don't know if you guys know, but it was like to here, just like in April, which was like six or seven months ago. And that's like a lot of growth for just that amount of time. So this is the only thing I've been using, like as far as like a, a hair oil. I will do it's a 10 in my hair sometimes, but this is really the only like steady thing that I've been doing. So great product. And it's, it's only like $5. Like it's stupid not to get this, okay? Go to your local grocery store or CVS or somewhere, or Amazon, and get yourself some vitamin E oil. Okay, so moving on to the hair category, speaking of hair. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this brush. Now, let me just tell you, I was a ride or die for the wet brush. Like, I only wanted the wet brush, I didn't want any other brush, but this has replaced my wet brush altogether. Like, who is a wet brush? We don't even know her anymore. So this is the Finger Brush by Olivia Garden, and it says it is nanoionic and anti-static. Um, I don't know what nanoionic any of that means, but it seriously feels like one of those head massagers that you would use as a kid, like the ones that you go like this. And like, I could like sit and brush my hair for days. Like I'm literally like this in the morning, like brushing my hair. I'm like, it literally just feels so good. And like now when I use a wet brush, I can't even feel it. And I'm like, what is this even doing for me? So yeah, this is like completely replaced my wet brush. And I would highly recommend trying it. I got mine at Ulta. 
So lastly, for hair, I have this new shampoo and conditioner I've been using. This is the OGX um, Youth Enhancing Saki Essence Shampoo and Conditioner, and it is so good. This is I was a little skeptical because this is like a cheaper brand. Um, I think each of these was like less than ten dollars, and this has made my hair so soft, and it smells like heaven. I always wanted to use the Saki Bomb from the Dry Bar, that one, but I don't like the smell of it. And this one literally smells like heaven. I can't even describe it to you. It just smells like, I wish it would like say on here. It says it has um, a blend of sake and ginseng. And I think it's the ginseng that smells so good. But I just want my whole life to smell like this. Like I want to put this all over my house. Like I just want my life to smell like this. It smells so, so good. So I really recommend trying this. And they sell this like CVS, Target. You can pretty much get it at any drugstore. Um, and it's very inexpensive, like I said. So go pick yourself up some of this. And for those that are blonde, I haven't used purple shampoo in a while. And I've only been using this. And like no brassiness has occurred. So it's safe to use on blondes as well. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is actually a fragrance. Um, this is like been my favorite fragrance for about a year now. Um, you can see I've used almost half of it. This is the KKW Crystal Gardenia perfume and it is so good. I know her products are like pretty hyped um, and that's why I wanted to talk about this. This is such a great value for what you get and like it's an amazing perfume. So this is more than two ounces and this was $60. Um, and for most designer perfumes, you're going to be paying upwards of $75 for like one to two ounces. Um, so this is a great deal and this smells so good. Okay, just let me paint the scene for you. So you are dressed to the nines. You're wearing your Louboutin heels. You have your Chanel bag. You are meeting your friends. You're going to a garden party at Queen Elizabeth's house and... This is what you smell like. You smell like a bougie, fresh queen. Like a queen. It smells so good. It's still feminine and a little bit like florally with the gardenia, but it's not by any means overwhelming. And it's like very fresh. It is more of like a spring to summer scent, but I do not like sweet, heavy scents at all. So this is like my all year round scent is this one right here um in the summer i do wear light blue um but this is like my all year go-to all the time i will definitely be repurchasing that excuse me repurchasing this so if you are looking to try a new fragrance and you don't like heavy like musky winter scents try this because it is amazing so lastly for the beauty portion of this video i'm going to talk about my current lip combination that i've been loving for fall um, I am like a nude lip girl. Like I don't love a dark like vampy lip on me. I will wear it like if I'm in the mood for it, but like it's not me. Um, this has been like my go-to color forever. It is the Maybelline Baddest Beige. And I've recently been pairing it with the lip liner by MAC called Whirl. Um, and this is like a darker liner. I'll swatch these for you. I am wearing it now though um, together, but I will go ahead and swatch these. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see very well, but um, this right here is like a nice dark, like, it has like a little bit of a pinky purple undertone to it, like more of a cool tone. And this is like your classic, like pinky nude. And I don't know what it is, but like together, it just looks so good. And it definitely can pass as like a fall lip color just because it is a little bit darker. Um, it's not that like straight up pinky nude that this usually is by itself. So I've been wearing this nonstop and I'm really loving it lately. All right, so next up I have some clothing items. The first up are these leggings. So these are a workout legging. They are from Gymshark and they are like a waist trainer almost. Like they really suck you in in the waist um, and they stay up during workouts. I'm not by any means like a fitness person, but I do work out a couple times a week. And my biggest pet peeve is when leggings like fall down as you're doing like a squat or running or something. And these stay up really nicely. They're nice and stretchy material and they have a good amount of compression. Um, and they're this super cute camo color. 
So these are super cute. I know they're sold out pretty frequently, but I will link them anyway. I know they usually do have like some colors in stock of these and they have like a bra version of this as well. Um, so yes, love these. All right, and lastly for clothes, I just have a couple things, um, is this jean jacket. So excuse the dog hair all over it. This is just like a basic black jean jacket, but I love the destroy detail on the hem. I don't know if you can see it super well, but it hits it so, it hits at such a great place. It's not too long to where it gives you no shape, but it's not so short that like you can't wear it with a lot of things. Does that make sense? It's a really great stretchy material. Um, it does run a little bit small. I usually wear a medium and I ended up getting a large in this just because I wanted it to be oversized, but it is from um, Black Label. And I will list some retailers of Black Label in the description box if you wanted to go get this jacket. But it's super comfortable, stretchy, and I have been wearing this over almost everything. So wanted to mention this for sure. All right, next up is this pillow. This, my friends, is from Walmart, and it was $12.99. So you should go pick yourself up one. I usually don't keep throw pillows on my couch because my dog literally rubs her face all over them, licks her paws on them and makes them like disgusting, but she hasn't yet got her hands on this. Thank goodness. Um, it was very brave of me to choose white, I know, but I wanted it for like my holiday decor to go like with the whole vibe, you know? So I got these at Walmart, got two of them. The other one does have like a little bit of her like essence on it it's not as pretty so I wanted to show you guys this one um but yes highly recommend super soft great quality for the price and last but not least I wanted to talk about my planner so I am a freak about my planner I am so picky I always have been and I have in the past spent like $60 on a planner because I wanted it to have a certain setup um, I like it to have like the month overall and then a day-by-day -day breakdown with like the times does that make sense so like this one i actually got at target it's from the brand blue sky and it has first of all it has stickers how cute and then if you go like first it has like the overview of the month and then which is what like i can't ever find it has a breakdown of your entire day for every single day of the month so it has like October 2nd, 6 a.m., 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on, all the way until 9 o'clock p.m. and then like into the evening. And I like that it has like the notes on the side, so if you don't want to write like a to-do list on your actual like agenda for the day, you can kind of write it in the notes over here. Um, and then in the back of every month, they do have a notes section. So anything important you want to write down, I sometimes will write down like recaps or like goals or like things that I need to do in that area. Um, so yeah, this is a great planner and it was only $20. So if you can find this at Target, I would for sure pick one up because I am like OCD about my planners and this one like meets my standards. So highly recommend this one and it's like a nice pretty color. All right guys, that is all the products I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I like doing favorites videos. I don't know why I don't do them more often. Um, so let me know in the comments what kind of material you're wanting to see. Because like I said, I am going to be uploading very regularly from now on. It's like one of my goals and something I really wanna hold myself accountable to. So yes, like I said, please stay tuned for Vlogmas and stay tuned for new videos every Tuesday and Thursdays at 7 p.m. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.